Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and, and welcome to May of 1928 in the land of Ostrov. Yep, we're really spreading out here. Four full farms now, and a pretty bustling community trying to support it. 104 citizens, not quite enough to keep everything going, but uh, we'll see how this all works out once a full round of crops comes in. And the materials are available to, to uh, power all the production buildings and see if we can get a full year out of what these crops produce. That's the plan, because until then I can't really keep everybody employed, and that's been a problem, especially over here for the Evaninko family that we've had trouble with. <laughs> I got an interesting uh, comment last episode from Handy, the, the hand I found with is her official name and uh, she she was giving me a running commentary apparently she had a microphone or something in there and recorded what they were what they were saying but um, uh, Marina was saying every time I find work I get laid off within a month and Mikola said wife I too have not found steady work only seasonal and Marina said what shall we do we have three children to feed and clothe and Mikola says tell Noble Rambler to stop hiring firing us every episode <laughs> That's the eventual plan. I did spend a little bit of time off camera trying to run people back and forth through these and I finally, if she's still there, got Marina Ivanenko to employ at the farm. And I got to thinking about something. We now have the water and hay that is here for the oxen. Um, who feeds them? Who goes to get that? I don't think the manager does which means even off season we should keep at least one person at each of the farms to keep the the oxen alive does that make sense so i think we probably need to maintain at least a skeleton staff until we can afford to maintain all of them year round but we've got uh, we've got do we have we don't have did we ever call for available that's right we were waiting what was that Something just chirped. I think it was a house. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that one just moved in. Wealth of 10. That's where they start at. So they'll be on their way soon. There they are. Rolling in here. Um, that blew my train of thought. What was I saying? Um, I don't know. It's gone completely. Anyway, one person in here all the time to at least bring in the, the hay and water. Okay. And with that, I've already run through jobs and, wow, put five people in here. That sure didn't hold. What is with that? Okay, well, I guess I got to look at it again. I was hoping to not have to do this. We could just turn the game on and let it run. I want to make sure there's one person there, one person there, two people here. So we're missing two and we're missing four. Five means that three boats will constantly be moving with two people out on breaks and that should maintain. There's only one person in each of those. This is unemployed. All the cart parking is unemployed. This is unemployed because there's nothing to do. I took all the potatoes and, and uh, sunflower oil out of here so it can go into the markets, which means these families that have got you know, a personal income of $149.59, you know, they, uh, they can start buying stuff and, and pumping that money into our economy, local sales. Let's get that ramped up so we can cover these crazy salaries to try to keep people uh, eating so it's it's a vicious cycle here in Austria. Um, you, three people working the warehouse, trying to bring in that was this one good. Trying to bring in wood and nails and thatch. Let's increase the nails. Take you up to 200. Eventually we get to 500 back out over here, and we get more iron coming after that. Thatch to 20. We got eight of it because we want to have uh, building supplies out on this part of the town to power all of these building sites when they come up rather than trucking them all the way over to here to get some wood so that will work out great but i need somebody making the wood so where are all the guys i think about that everything else is unemployed uh, that's a house there <laughs> where are all the guys what else is here that does that there's one guy in there laborers that's what it is. I think that is what it is. Um, let me verify that by clicking on any of these with a laborer doing something. Not finding any. 
odd. Um, I've released all the potatoes and all of the sunflower oil. So I got to thinking all these guys could be hauling carts to all of the different stands over here. But there's, there's only, that's the first one that's had a, a, a laborer slot open. Look at all the stuff that's coming in. So that was the windmill. I got to get to these projects, but I'm still trying to figure out where all the guys are because they're not doing the labor work that I thought. What else takes labor? There's no labor in here, only this one, and there's no laborers, just the two guys running it. Same with here. I should only have the guys running it. No laborers because they are the laborers in that sense. They're the carters. Um, that's all there is. Hmm. Well, three of them got back into here and one's back in there so maybe the strike is over maybe all right i wanted to move this so how does this one look that looks better what do you think handy does that look better than that one i think so let's get these cattle moved over to here and delete that one twist it a little bit and then set it back in there and then this one will have our four buildings looking like they were meant to be in those positions. So, now this will be interesting to see how what happens. Let's move everybody into here. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. The oxen are now both one year old. Now I can go ahead and get this one ordered. That's what we were waiting for last time. Order plow, thank you. All right, back to this. You guys are all moving into here. Oh, I see that, that list went down because the two oxen were just taken out of it. They're now, I don't know if it lists it, but they're now associated with the carpentry yeah probably going off to to go get them i used to win the carts first so that empties this one correct i believe so and thank goodness marina i have an encode doesn't work here because we're gonna have to uh, say goodbye to this one and turn on this one two workers there two workers there this one gets demolished which means what Nothing popped up up here. There it goes. Boy, that scared me. Everything kind of locked down on me for a moment. You move up to the top. Let's get you moved out. Possibly this episode. All right. You. Let's get <clears throat> one or two. Wheat built up in the system right now is 13. That's not that much. Let's turn you off for a while. Let's wait till our full round of wheat comes in. Then we can probably employ two more. All right, so with that, other than just making sure we've got basic supplies coming in, wood was the most important, it really is. How much fish is available? Fish is 21. Really don't want to turn that off. Where can I shut down some other guys? Um, I've never seen flour in here, meaning that we keep taking it as fast as we make it. So I can't say we can justify telling these guys to no longer work. Um, are there any other guys? Oh, it just dawned on me. I've got five, six building projects opened up. What do you want to bet we're going to find two... Um, how many times I clicked on that? So two there, over here, four, so there's six. That's where most of the guys are. They're out constructing. Okay. Well, I guess... We're going to, uh, right there, we're going to employ this when all these other projects have got everything but their, their lumber. And then they're going to get to work over here. I don't see any way around that. Got two guys working here. And we're going to use so much thatch through this, I don't, I don't dare take them out. Nails, only 95 left. I'm hauling a lot of nails out to this one on purpose. So we've got... 200 sitting out over here so we need to make nails to make up for that um what was i just thinking of a thought hit me to check and it's gone okay so with that we're tearing it down aren't we wow okay really tearing it down even though the hay and water is still here that surprised me i thought for sure they would have to take that out maybe that'll just end up as a resource pile sitting on the ground which I may have to delete rather than wait for them to come get it because that could be a long time. Wow, that is impressive. They are just tearing that out whole sections at a time and rolling it back up into a thatch pile. <laughs> 
I don't know if you've ever really sat down and watched the demolition process. Let's do just that. Let's turn that speed up and watch this work. Now we'll kick up a little bit so we can look inside. There. Otherwise, I think most of this episode is just going to be getting a bunch of construction done, at least until we get to August 1st. Then we'll stop and do a little more micromanaging. Uh, oh, I think I just got close enough. No, they just started working on wood. That's it. Or nails. I think it's the nails that, that makes that noise. I wonder if, yeah, we're going to see nails increase with each pounding. Hit and miss. Hmm. Anyway, that's going down. Um, all of these materials, except for the nails, we'll be calling to put into here. So maybe we'll increase it by that amount and see if they'll take it from here. It'd be nice if we take it from here and just move it right into this job site. Oh, that'd be convenient. Um, it is the next one in line. It's possible they just may. Uh, oh, you're dragging all the thatch out of there and hauling it to here. Ah, well, answer that question. They are that smart. Okay, how are the Ivanenkos doing right now? All right, so Mikola is working on the cow shed, and Marina is working at the farm, and they are up to two. Woohoo! They are on their way. Okay, so do we have anybody making lumber yet? We've got them. Well, we had them. Boy! Yep, just like that. Fish? We are fishing away. Four guys keeping those busy. And messenger from. Okay, slow back down. What do we got? That one is down here. You want to sell us dried fish, lime and salt, and you want wheat and shoes. Eventually, we'll have the shoes going. It's not yet. I would like to experiment with dried fish, but I don't want to do that until we've got a budget that has balanced. I don't want to buy unnecessary things. We're going to have to buy more, more iron here soon. Um, how are we doing? We have spent, oh, well, let's see here, 180, 190, that's what I'm getting, 190 extra has come in, and only 30 to the good, so we've lost 160 for the year so far, and we're halfway through. We're, we're better, better than we were last time. We lost a lot more than that last time, so... That's not, yeah. We brought in uh, 630 ish and only spent 80. So we lost a lot more money last time than this time. This time we've got sunflower oil in the system to sell. We've got uh, clothes in the system to sell. So that's what's boosting us here. So, yeah, if we can get these industries all up and running. We're going to uh, see a big difference in our budget. That's that's pretty key. The local sales are what's going to power this uh, this economy. All right, back down into here. Get to where we can hear some more pounding, and they're building this one too. Let's look at that one. Four tearing apart, and one carton. He's probably right there or right here. Carton things back and forth and bringing them in. Okay. Am I still in speed too? No, I'm not. We're not going to do any trading, so that's fine. And trader is empty. Yes. Okay. Um, this farm only had two each, and we have been bringing stuff in. Okay, good. That has been torn down. Okay. And you are standing there. You are bugged, aren't you? <laughs> Who's that? Bape has got a cow on his map that will not move anymore. I'm thinking we have a villager that uh, is actually has turned into a mannequin. Yeah, I, I think so. Hmm. Um, this cow shed. We are. We have to get rid of the stuff. Okay, so that's official now. Oh, I see the nails are still here. Ah, here we go. Show path. All right, well, Anastasia, um, you live here, and are you resting? <laughs> this is a little worrisome. 
Hmm, that's interesting. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on Anastasia, see what uh, see what's going to happen there. All right, if I were to lay another cow shed in here, how would it best be done? I always go from R to E to try to reverse it. it hits me every time. So T, take you back over here, and place is occupied because Anastasia will not leave. Um, that's probably a better fit right there. All right. Oh, did she? Nope, she's still there. Okay. So we have... Where's my next hitbox? Zoom out a little so it's not so extreme. Get any other... There we go. We've got 31 nails in there. All right. Let's call for you guys who are still looking for more, more materials. Let's have you bring in another 50 nails. And see if that's enough to get you guys to go over here with a cart and pick these up. Family's out of money? No. Really? Evanenko's? You're a laborer in a farm. And we can't maintain it. So we're out buying sunflower oil. Hmm. Anyway, um, over here. Are the nails going to go away? Meanwhile, we're building another cow shed and we've got four other houses we're working on. So they're busy. They're doing things. But I would like to know what it's going to take to get rid of all of this. Now, that's her. That's nails. Where's the hitbox for all the thatch? I'm trying to watch that side of the screen and this side. I'm not getting one. I'm only getting the nails. Right about there. So if there is nails, then there is thatch. I think she's on the hitbox for the thatch. Hmm. Can't click and drag. Doesn't do any good. If someone would just come and get that, then maybe I could do something here. Okay, that's gone. Now, have I got any way? Now. Well, tell you what, let's see if we can add more thatch. Maybe that would help us out. Let's go to 40 thatch. Now, let's go to 30. Okay. But I would think there's enough projects down here calling for thatch. What's happening down here anyway? That's right, thatch is at the very end of the process anyway. So it's going to be a while before they're actually calling for it. Anyway, um, I did my best to find them jobs. I don't know what else I can do. This house is bugged or something. But all the financial problems we've had have been in these two houses. So I don't know what else I can really do here. Other than get this industry up and running and see if we get him a better job but he's still fishing dock oh that helps that helps at least until uh, November 31st the 30th then we'll have to uh, figure out what to do with with um, yeah um, what's his name starts with an M right there Makola okay Anyway, we are still building, still waiting for Anastasia to <laughs> to move. <laughs> hmm. Um, the thatch, has some of it gone away? I think so. I think there was more there. I can't click on it to give me a quantity. All I can do is wait for a cart to show up. When this project calls for thatch, maybe they'll grab from there. So we'll just sit here and watch this for a little bit. We're middle of July. So we get to the last uh, few days of July, I'll go turn all the jobs back on in the farms. And that'll get everybody excited. And that'll kind of end the construction for a while too, unfortunately. But maybe then Anastasia will get hired or something. And she will... Uh, I, I really wonder if this pile of thatch isn't somehow uh, um, got her, her stuck. If, if this went away, it would, it would clear the that section of the map. Well, let's go to speed three for a while. We can watch this go in. They should be calling for thatch soon, right? Stored five thatch. Hmm, they already got it. Okay, now we just have to get it all installed. Um, pull out little. Has this warehouse received its thatch? Yes, it has. So we're not going to get rid of that. Darn. That means I probably can't put the cow shed back in. Hmm. Okay. Let's slow it back down. Work with cow sheds. <clears throat> what have we got here? Let's bring in two workers. 
let's actually I want only women here didn't change these so there and no laborers same thing here there are no laborers so here women no laborers okay so Makita sorry but uh, you need to go find some other work as well as Svitsislav you need to go find another job there's plenty out there for you but uh, this is just perfect work for for uh, for the ladies to, to handle there's no heavy lifting here except for Anastasia oh Anastasia <laughs> Anastasia Anastasia. Yeah, I've got that right. Okay. I don't know what to do there. I just don't. Vapor's cow has been that in that field for the last several episodes, so Anastasia might be doomed. Not sure. And I'm fighting the urge to find some way to make this fence go to here. But I can't. It won't fit. That's, a, that's the minimum width. The only way I could fix it is to take this house and take it straight. But I kind of like our, our wonky little star park here. So, yeah, that would just mess things up. So, we've got um, harvest going on, or just about to, uh, August 1st. That's why one of the reasons I paused. Let's go ahead and bring this up to full force so that... And this one especially, this is the one that's the hardest to get people to work at. I've had one worker available there the whole time, or worker slot available, and nobody's taking the job. This one, I just might have to up the uh, the wages a bit just to get them over there. Um, over here, like so, and up in here. Three fields only. Let's go to only four this, this time. Three fields there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five over here, five over there, and four over here. All right, that'll do. Now, go ahead and kick the speed back up, and let's see if these things fill. And that's really a big question mark. I've got a lot of jobs out there, out there now that are only for women. All the market stalls, um, all the cow sheds, uh, the weaver, and I have a feeling we're actually running out of eligible uh, employees. Let's see. There is a pop-up. Okay. Got a little worried there. It wasn't coming up. So nobody's looking for work. All right, one more time. Over here, none. Over here, got our four. We've got one. And we've got one. Okay. So in that case, we're just about there. I'm thinking, and nobody is working on any of these? No, we're all working on this one. Wow, they're going to plow through that quickly. There and there. All right. Let's pause these guys. These are going to have to be uh, winter work. We'll get all of these materials brought in and dropped off. And then let's... We're there. So actually we'll go back to one. And let's reset this for men as well. It's not going to work the way I had planned. There aren't enough women to do it yet. As all the rest of these houses get built, then this should work out fine. But it's not going to happen yet. Um, laborers can be all two in this case. They're not hauling. They are actually doing the field work. So that can be, yeah, same thing. So over here, uh, both and can be all. And over here, both and can be all. Okay. So with that, are we getting the positions filled? We're still not. Thankfully, it's harvest and not... Um, planting. Planting, you're up against a time limit. The sooner it goes in, the longer it grows, the more crop you get. Here, harvesting, we just have to get it done by the end of November. So we have four months to kind of go back and forth. We could get all this done within, you know, two months with this crew. And then they're available to move into this one to fill in these slots, which they have, I see. But nobody wants to work here. Why would nobody want to work here? What is the difference? Both of these are somewhat near housing. This is not. This over here, not really near housing either. We have a few. Do they want to work near their home? I haven't noticed enough of a pattern to, to know that. I mean, it is, this one right here works in the smithy. I noticed that before the episode, so that's really close. But 
you work where? A windmill and a cow shed. That's interesting. So there's two in a row that are right near their work. So over here, are you fish? Your farm and thatchery. So there's the thatchery, okay? So you are fish. Fishing dock. Okay, well that that helps out. This needs to get in. We need to get these houses in and these houses in to make this farm functional. Okay. Now I pointed at these. I plan to put these in last time and ran out of time. So I guess just let it run. Let them do their thing. All these are paused. Let's put some more houses in. Right there. Spin you around. And think about... Let's see here. Let's hold the alt. Think about pathways. Um... T? No, R. <laughs> You're not going to fit to that no matter what I do. Alright, so which one's going to be wonky? That's the hard part. Alright, you're willing to kind of mesh with the fences a little bit. Let's do that and let you touch right there. Or do we put you out and leave a path right there? Let's think about that. If I, if I do this... It could look pretty good, or look better at least. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's still going to be off, but they're still going to walk around the back side of it over here, aren't they? They're coming from over here for the most part, so they're going to walk around the back side. We're not going to create a path in front of there anyway. So up against the fence does seem better. I know. Let's put the part that's off over here. Hmm. I guess there. What I was thinking is I could... I want to put something in that I could snap to and stretch and bend. And then I can delete that object once I get the next one set. Okay. Maybe I can do something like that. What if I were to do this? Just drop you in. Um, let's see. Shift. Okay. And then let's set this guy... Let's see, alt. Yeah, it just doesn't work. It wants to snap to something that it won't let me build. Okay, well, if I set that one, and, well, first of all, pause it, and then demolish this one, and then set another one here. Well, there is no way to make that work, is there? This windmill is going to cause me grief. Hmm. Okay, demolish you. Hmm. <clears throat> um, you didn't go away. Why did you not go? Oh, you're paused. Okay. It's always a reason. I usually find that reason while I'm editing. <laughs> Alright, alt. And I guess everything's just going to be wonky here. I doubt we're going to get it built this time. So if you think of a better way to do this, let me know. Hmm. Alright, let's think about a better way to do this. What if we did something more like this? Now, before I do this too much, move over here. Up here, okay, up here is going to be uh, hay. Okay, so this is available. Ooh, that almost wants to snap. Ooh, I think I a think, uh, problem has been solved. Okay, shift, grab you, spin you around, so we can go this direction and snap to it. Uh, wrong one. So there, and slight touch that way. Okay, that lets me squeeze things around a little bit better. Alright, I like that. There's two, I was hoping to get four in here. Hey, through here. Probably looks good. Um, let's think about this. Messenger from. Okay, we'll slow it down for a moment. Um, pathway is going to come through here. We've got to kind of shape how we want this pathway to drop down in front of these houses. Unfortunately, I can't shape within this sphere right here, but I can take a fence that travels along here and touches that so that they're forced to go around and make a real road across here and then drop into all this. Um, 
hay through here. House, house. House? I was, we can't run across the front of this there and there because we have a pathway to maintain here. Hmm. And who wants to live right next to the uh, the clay pit, huh? <laughs> Let's put one more in right there. Uh, first of all, pause you guys. I should have done that already. The, everybody's going to be uh, trying to, to build those. Let's put one more in. And if you do come up with any better ideas, because I'm sure this won't build this episode, let me know if there's an, another way you can think of that would look better. Let's see. Let me rotate my map a little. And you're sitting something like that, which oops, which means I want to touch you that way. Okay, that would look better there. And I was going to say we could start twisting off and doing an arc out over here. But that makes it hard to get to this clay pit. Hmm. Clay pit's a problem. Because an arc out over here would look interesting with with this arc out over here oh i hadn't thought of looking at it with another building that does look like a pretty good sweeping arc doesn't it i like that i like those i like the ability to do that this one didn't come out so good i know how to build them better now but not much i can do here because we'll be completely burying this clay pit and really extending the travel time to come over and get the clay and go back so that's tough. Unless I were to leave a pathway right here. Alt. So you hit about like that. So if we did this, then there's not enough room to make an arc anyway. Yeah. Though we could start that arc at a 45. 45. Let's see here. Trying to imagine an isosceles triangle in there. Um, let's do it this way. And alt. Well, it's still hard to do with all the orange. That corner, those look fairly equal. I'm going to say that's pretty close to 45. Which then, let's see, this first one would need to be alt so it doesn't snap to anything. So right there. And I would want to leave enough of a path to get in there. So if we did that, all right, shift, do that. And then take you, let's see, T, about like so. It's just not enough room to make it happen in this curve. The only way to do that, well, before I do that, let's grab that 45 again. That's right, there's a trader waiting for us, huh? Come in right there. Boy, so many snapping. Um, alt. Okay, one more. R. That's pretty good. Okay, we have that angle set now. Now let's demolish you and take you back into here. So, house, what if you went into about like this? So, the next one. So, if we were to tap twice, right there, Drop you in about like this. Shift. And then tap back twice. Oh, that might, may have been a little too far. Yeah, so it's partial taps and, and full taps. <laughs> um, how do I determine that? There to there. Let's go a little further. Just a touch of an R right there. Okay. So you snap into there. And... About like that. Do we leave a path at the clay pit or not? Probably not. Hmm. Yeah, probably should. Just in case those trees eventually leave and this map continues longer than I ever imagined. Okay. You there. Shift and click. And then let's come back to this level. About like that. Uh, Alt... That looks pretty close. And then two more times. I like that. Okay. Move you in until you're 
pretty parallel. Okay. And hold the shift. All right. What's that look like on the back? Pretty good. This one's a little bit more steep than this one, but I think we can live with that. So there's three houses forming another arc out over here. Okay. That looks kind of interesting. Look at that queue. Uh, pause. 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 Let's check our trader, then let's check our crops. Oh, I missed, missed them, didn't I? Okay, pause you. So many of these clicks. I just clicked again and it wouldn't grab it. Oh, it did grab it. Okay, pause. All right. Now, trader, who are you? You started with an M. You're this guy. All right, you guys don't have anything we need and don't have anything we have to sell. Okay, so not to worry about that. Now, how are we doing otherwise for it to speed the game back up? I am on one speed. We got some progress over here. Okay, you guys, five people, are going on two-thirds done. You guys, five people, about the same because you have one extra field. You have not even started. Or have you? That's right, not much actually grew. You know, we're not even halfway on this. So, fewer... Well, we have five people out here. And potential of five laborers. Okay. And as these guys finish their jobs... We could, uh, they could become laborers over here. Um, over here, there's four people doing it, and we are that same two-thirds done. Okay, I think we're in pretty good shape there. Let's turn the speed back up and run this for a few more minutes before the episode's over. Go to speed three. Anything else to keep an eye on? Forestry. 96 wood. Jobs are popping in and out all the time. Okay. Uh, thatch, how you doing? That's over there. We have 20. We're doing great. We can take one down because we filled this other one now, so we don't need that job anymore. Nails, 525 with one worker now. Three iron. How much iron is still sitting over in here? Still a 4.52 iron over here. We do need to buy some more next time that comes through. Budget has lost money, even though we brought in so much extra. Yeah, we're still, we're still hurting on the budget, aren't we? We are. Hmm... Okay, uh, product is going to start coming in. Let's slow it down and think about this. This is all sunflower. <clears throat> let's turn on gathering for a little bit. In fact, let's turn on gathering on all of these for a little bit and get some product brought in that can we can start hauling into here and get all these industries up and going. So over here, you guys are hemp. So I'll turn that on. Let's run this till the end of September and have them just gather everything but potatoes. Potatoes are not that uh, that necessary. We still have potatoes, 12, plus what's in the market, so we're fine for food. Fish, where are we at now? Fish. 23, what's in our fishery? Our fishing dock. Another 5.8. Not as productive of a year this time, although it may have been taken away just as fast, so can't really predict that one. Um, we're hauling in the Wheat, and wheat is not as important. Okay, we'll turn that back to the other. We have plenty of heat, wheat for these guys to be working. Over here, hemp, we've got two in. Have you been hauling it in? You're bringing it in. Awaiting one point. Okay, you're unloading right now. Okay, which means these ladies are up and running again. They're going out there to get them point one at a time. And that means I can turn this back on. You have been on. Okay, so you're up and running again. All right. Is Anastasia still standing there? Oh, man. That's where I want to put my cow shed. Don't do this to me. <laughs> what do we do about Anastasia? I need your thoughts on this one. This is going to hurt. All right. We are into October. Let's turn the gathering off. You, you, this one. Um, prioritize gathering. This one, no more gathering. And let's get you turned on right there with two workers let's get that up and going and with that let's go ahead and get uh, just one in for now and get some sunflower oil in um, in the city right now not gonna tell me are you right there there's 11 in the city right now and we're gonna start making it like crazy sunflowers coming in yeah in fact, I wonder if two guys is too much for what we've got here we'll have to wait and see um, how many? Sunflower, oil, and we have three still in the building, so I think we can safely go to 15. 
right there. Okay, that's that. Potatoes, may as well start bringing that in too for trading. Potatoes right there and hmm, let's go back to our 25 right there. All right, I want to look at cattle one more time. All right, you guys can do your thing and just have a ball. Although over here, it's mostly in. Let's selectively... Oh, there's an Ivanenko right there. You can stay. I uh, will take out one from this end. All right, over here, there's still a lot of work to do on this one. Same with here. This one, yeah, we'll leave these alone for now. But this one's got a good chunk of it already done. Now, um, message from, okay, slow down. This one I would want to do. What have you guys brought in so far in the way of potatoes? Not much. Okay. Hmm. Let's not worry about that one, then we can do that next time. I do want to bring in some more iron, though. So, you, there, bring me in five more iron, please. Even though we can't really afford it. You're coming in at 12, 60. Ouch. Yep, I want it, though. And, hmm, I could up this and see, now if I were to bring in, you're only, let's do it, let's do it this way. Let's do a three. Potatoes, let's sell them three. We have that for certain, deal. Let's sell them another three and see if by the time they get here, then we could have uh, those three in stock. You guys, it doesn't, s I got nobody working here though, because they're all out here now. <laughs> I couldn't get them out here to begin with and now oh, they won't leave. Hmm. We don't have to have the so many employed right now. Let's toss you and toss you. There's two potential to dive into here. We got none of them. All right, over here, we are still hurting for forestry. I don't want to let these guys go. The carts, nothing is ordered. All right, so Philip can go find another job somewhere. There's plenty to find. Um, I was just, it thought just hit me. Plenty to find near wherever he lives. Otherwise, he may not go to work, which may have been her issue there weren't enough jobs where she uh, within a radius where she lived that might have been what marina was up against there um still nobody okay well that last job is probably going to fail our last uh, sale anyway are we ready to turn this off i think so these episodes just go by too quick for me but um asking you guys to watch two hour episodes is Probably not going to happen. Look at the the pathway around the town over here. That is interesting. All the way up there, down to this farm, and all the way back over there. So a lot of these people are working here. And a lot of the town over here is working here. What am I seeing all here? That's all the flags flipping around when I get out too far. A lot of, a lot of little dots bouncing back and forth. Okay, with that, I think I better call this one done. It's a noble rambler. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.